All right, guys, we're back for yet another Bleach Brave Souls video, and I know I'm pretty late to this, but we did get the brand new update, which for starters, I don't like the user interface. I think it's a bit too messy, and I do not like how you have some of these buttons in the sub menu, especially the inventory and the accessories. Like, why is it even a thing? Even the friends like, they could have easily not have made this thing a thing, and uh, just have these three buttons here and then the my status and the album back to the settings and I don't like how everything is displayed it's a bit of a mess but that's just my own personal opinion everything else about the update I think is really good I am glad that we now have the Quincy killer stickers and the uh, human killer stickers but most importantly the golden Yuki's and the Yuki's have been finally fixed by that I mean they now have a resurrection and by resurrecting these accessories normally these golden yukis and yukis themselves they give you a good amount of sp we're talking about 30 percent sp but you keep the stamina but the biggest drawback has always been with the fact that it reduces your focus to zero which is bad focus is how you get your character to do crits and do double the damage if you take away the focus your character is only going to be doing half the damage and it's going to be very noticeable if you give the character full stamina focus if at 1-5 and if you have the character 2-5 specifically with level 10 SP and focus giving a character a Yuki you're just basically killing off their damage and has never been good ever since Transcendence was implemented but now we have it and it is time to go ahead and put it to test and we might as well just go ahead and give it a whirl because these golden yukis they just might be meta and i say might be but at the same time i feel like they're not exactly necessary because these are more so going to be a leeway for when you do not have the 50 percent sp accessories because let's be honest here these are always going to be 10 times better than the golden yukis just straight up 80 percent sp yeah you can never go wrong with that the problem is not everyone will have the same accessories as i have and not everyone will have a specific accessory for a certain affiliation since they are all divided into affiliations like we have the teacups for the aronkars and espadas the tea sets for the soul reapers and uh, the cape fasteners for the quincy's javelin etc 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 i don't need to go on about this like you guys get the point you need specific accessories for specific affiliations with the golden yukis not so much albeit you do get 20 percent less sp but 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 you can use it on anyone and i may as well go ahead and do a damage comparison between using the golden yuki fortification bill and the uh 50 sp item and compare it for when you're normally using the 20% sad accessories, the pill, and the 50% SP item. In my case, I am going to use my Yuha Baha and compare that. Now, you need 10 Golden Hammers to get the 5-star only accessories to be resurrected. And as for the normal 4-stars uh, that can be evolved into 5-stars, you're going to need 15 Silver Hammers. Right now, there is no way... To be able to farm these golden hammers and the silver hammers we're gonna need some content to drop later on so for those of you guys asking me how can i get these i do not know because there is nothing you cannot get it from the metal exchange you cannot get it from anything like you just gotta make do what what you can as you guys can see once you resurrect the accessory look at this now it's a straight up raw 30 percent sp with stamina. You don't get the focus reduced to zero anymore. Let's watch the animation. I mean, I kind of expected more, but it's to be expected. So, uh, yeah, I have my Maxion centered Yuha. I'm going to be bringing him without any type of uh, boost. And, um, yeah, I have the best possible accessories. First, we'll uh, basically bring the straw attack damage accessory. But yeah, all of my links are max sanded. SP bonus ability, 500 SP on the 6 slot. And how much SP do I have on Yuha? 7.6k. Almost 7.7k. So we're going to bring him into Inheritance Zone and see what kind of damage we can do right off the bat. Perfect opportunity. We actually have hollows here. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, let's just go and get right into it. We're going to keep the boost active once again. This is what we have. 
after we've seen the initial damage with the SA2, we're gonna go ahead and move on to replacing the sad accessory with the Golden Yuki. Disable auto. Getting right into it, let's see how much damage we can do. As you guys can see, a whopping 90k. So, that's also with the crit active and everything. We didn't even enable the SP boost, which I'm glad because I wanted to see the baseline damage. Let's just go ahead and swap out the sad accessory for the Golden Yuki. Now, normally when you have this type of setup right here, you would have 170% SP with 20% strong attack damage. When you give the character a Golden Yuki, you're going to be losing out on the 20% strong attack damage buff, but you get a lot more SP added onto your character. So we're going to see if that's going to be really effective and look at that. 8.3k SP. That is mad insane. Can it make a difference? Let's see. No. I need a crit again though, so hold on. Okay, what's with the crit? Yeah, I just can't get the 90ks. So, uh, yeah. The only advice that I can really give you guys is use the Golden Yuki when you don't have the 50% SP item. So yeah, the strong attack damage accessory is still always going to be forever a must. But now, let's say, once again, you guys do not have the 50% SP item. You guys can still do this. I'll be getting a bit less SP. I have 7.2k SP now compared to 7.6k. But guess what? I think I should still be hitting the really high numbers. And... It's a slightly better compared to using the Golden Yuki, the pill, and the 50% SP item. So, yeah, as you guys saw, we did 90k plus with the sad accessory, pill, and the 50% SP item. A bit less than 90 on the uh, Golden Yuki uh, pill and the 50% SP accessory. And then uh, almost close to 90k, just like that. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to reset and I did hit the 90ks like I wanted to, so... Yeah, there you guys have it. The Golden Yukis are a really nice substitution if you do not have the 50% SP accessories. And that's pretty much about it. So uh, yeah, I did waste my Golden Hammers, but at the very least, I did pump out a video so that way you guys are a bit more informed about how uh, effective these Golden Yukis are now that they have gotten their 5-star plus upgrades. But more importantly, I feel like once we get to, like, you know, the latter accessories, like the fortification pills, the 50% SP items, or even the pupples, golden pupples essentially, those are going to impact the game even more than the golden Yukis have ever done. It's really nice that we can now actually use these accessories and not get the focus completely reduced to zero, but at the same time, it's just missing something uh, to uh, make them really competitive. Just a bit more SP. Like if it were like a 40% uh, SP boost, or like, you know, had focus being increased, then sure, sure. But at least they got their uh, revamp after so long. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. This has been your boy, The Dash Masher, and uh, I unfortunately will not be uh, up for when the Monkai Live stream uh, goes live, and of course the anniversary banner, because I'm gonna be out for like a good week on vacation, so I do apologize on my behalf. But once I'm back from vacation, yeah, we're going to cover a lot and a lot and a lot of content. So y'all have a pleasant day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sign out. Ciao, ciao.